Engaged Lessons for the 21st Century. Reading and Comprehension, Water Cycle, Video 10. This is an engaged video created by Willoughby Eastlake Schools. How to use the video lesson. There are four steps and or four options. Option number one, video and questions on screen. Complete video engaged. If you are presently using a smart board, please remember to save this video first and then open it up with smart video player. Step two, option two video and print out only the comprehensive questions that are provided. The video will play the story and the students will write on the comprehensive questions. Step 3, Option 3. Simply print out the handout only and provide a handout for each student in your class. Step 4, Option 4. Simply use the smart board lesson that is provided only. The water cycle. Rain falls on the ground and forms puddles. The sun comes out and the water from the puddles evaporates. Evaporate means to change from a liquid to a gas. Water moves into the air as a gas when it evaporates. This gas is called water vapor. You cannot see water vapor. Water falls back to the earth from clouds. This is called the water cycle. If you would please, have a student come up to the smart board for the first series of questions. Thank you. Page 1. Please do not pick up a pen until you're asked to do so. Write your answers below. Look back at the passage if needed. Question 1. What? is the process of evaporation. Question 2. When water evaporates, what is another name given to the gas? If you would please, pick up a pen to answer these two questions. Okay, here's what we have as the answers. Question 1. What is the process of evaporation? It means to change from liquid to gas, as illustrated here in this sentence. Question 2. When water evaporates, what is another name given to the gas? Another name is water vapor, as you can see here written in this sentence. If your answer matches ours, that is unbelievable. Fantastic! If you would please, have another student come up to the smart board and, while they're coming up here, if you would please erase your answers. Thank you. Page 2. Please do not pick up a pen until you're asked to do so. Write your answers below. Look back at the passage if needed. Question 3. Water falls back to the earth from where? Question 4. This process is called what? If you would please, pick up a pen to answer these two questions. Here's what we have as an answer. Question 3. Water falls back to the earth from where? From the clouds, as illustrated here. Question 4. This whole process is called what? Water cycle, as you can see in this last paragraph. If your answers matched ours, that is marvelous. Way to go. Super. If you would please, pick up an eraser and erase your answers. And we would like to thank you for working with us today on reading and comprehension. <laughs>